It has been 15 months since we set the ball rolling after 75 years of or 74 years of missed opportunities in semiconductor. And so today I just wanted to share with you the the past, the journeys, the misses, the missed opportunities, the lack of political vision, uh, certain incompetence over the last 65, 70 years that held back India from semiconductors versus the last 15 months of progress that have been made and therefore what progress will be made in the future. So the idea was to make a brief presentation to you, tell you the context in which we are working, where how we are progressing so that you get a broader picture. The demand for electronics and digital products is intensifying. Electronics is at the core of our lives today and semiconductor in turn at the core of electronics. We have since 2024 rebuilt the electronics ecosystem. We were almost nothing in electronics in 2014 and today we are a company country that is exporting over 1 lakh crores and have uh, crossed almost 8 lakh crores of total electronics production and becoming increasingly a big presence in the global value chains for electronics, global supply chains for electronics. Our targets are $300 billion in electronics by 2526 and of that about 100, 110 billion dollars of semiconductors by 2029. Next. Now, these two slides are the most important slides in the briefing for you. The background of how from 1960 to 2020 or 2014, you want to use that. India has missed the bus repeatedly on electronics and semiconductors and in particular semiconductors. Missed opportunity, lack of political and strategic vision and of course a big dose of incompetence to add. Uh, I don't know how many of you are aware that Fairchild Semiconductor which was the precursor to Intel came to India in 57 and wanted to set up a packaging unit and we, were, we chased them away. And that packaging unit went on to become the center and the core of the Penang's hub which is one of Asia's largest packaging hubs in the world. We set up a fab for silicon and germanium transistors, couldn't compete and it shut down and shut it down. 83 to 97 we were absent because the SCL got burned down, halted production and then came back in, in a precarious form and now we are modernizing it. An international semicon major wanted to start operations in South India, started a clean room and faced so many roadblocks that they ran away from a potential semiconductor facility, semiconductor investment in 4,000 jobs. Next. There was no semiconductor policy and when Intel, and they, were, they are on record as saying this, wanted to explore a fab in 2007. It is a slow response or the almost inadequate response of the government that caused them to shift that fab plan out of India. And so there is a long history of almost repeatedly over the last 65, 75 years, political leaders, political governments that did not understand, lacked and missed the bus and did not fathom the criticality of semiconductors and electronics. And you know that by 2014, next slide. In 2011, we, uh, they invited an EOI for semiconductor fabrication plant. That did not go anywhere. 2013, nothing happened. A fab city was launched, nothing happened. And this is very important for us to understand. In 87, we were just two years behind the latest node in chips. And today we are 12 generations behind. This is the gap that has been caused. This is how far behind we have been left in semiconductors in the last 40 years of inaction. So now I want to talk about 18 months, what we have done in this context that we are a rising force in the risk v program. Prime Minister set out in December 2021, 76,000 crores. 
future design in the design part of the semiconductor ecosystem. We are charging forward today with almost 30 startups. Five startups have get, been given direct government financial support and 25 more are being evaluated. We have implemented in a very short period of time a comprehensive curriculum in partnership with industry to create 85,000 highly talented, globally skilled, global talent for VLSI from PhDs, postdoctorate, masters and bachelors. Uh, state of the art ATMP project is coming up, the first one of its kind, which will create 5,000 and 15,000 indirect jobs. Micron, which is a global leader in memories. Several proposals in ATMP and FABs have been evaluated by the ISM. The SCL Mohali is being modernized and a global standard India Semiconductor Research Center is being set up. This is a report card for 15 months and I have shown you the report card for the last 70 years of the past 70 years. India's story on semiconductor, the vision of India being a semicon nation has started 15 months ago for the first time after 70 years and we are on track to do in the next 10 years with these 10 billion dollars what countries like China took 200 billion dollars 25, 30 years and could not succeed. And uh, I welcome you all to the second edition of Semicon India in Gandhinagar. Very fitting place for the uh, second edition of Semicon India. A global summit where over 200 top delegates and companies from around the world are attending. Where every leading semiconductor company in the world, every leading semiconductor name in the world is attending and is being represented. And at the same time, startups and India semiconductor talent and capabilities are also on display.